Jordy Smith up against Felipe Toledo. What a show we're about to witness. This is the third time these two have met in the championship tour final. Felipe Toledo getting the jump on Jordy Smith and those other exchanges. But Jordy Smith has wrestled some head-to-head -head heats away from Toledo as well. So this is a very even matchup. You've got the stature and the size and power of Jordy Smith. Um, no one ever deserves that. Um, I also really quickly want to give a shout out to my mom because it's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Back home, I bet she's super happy. <laughs> With the turn that clinched the final, talk to us about riding through that whitewash, obviously surfing blind. Against Toledo, this was the 6.67. So let's have a look at what Philippe gets done here. Beautiful wrapping carve to start things off. Takes his time with the second one, just blasting that second turn. Super critical. And then Geordie behind Philippe. Laying into the rail on that first carve, just wrapping it a little bit further than uh, Philippe's carve. And uh, as the wave goes a bit sleepy on this middle section, let's see what Geordie gets done in this final hit there. Just a beautiful lip gliding floater. And that one felt good. That's a decent number. Watch how far Geordie leads into these bottom turns and then gets that his heel side rail set. Look at how far over he is leaning. All that leverage and height coming into play. Already currently with Toledo. Holds on to a 6.67 in second spot though, needs a 2.34 and he's going to have a shot at this one. It's a medium sized set wave. He's hoping that it lines up and gives him some opportunity here. Does well to make something of that first turn. Second manoeuvre, very strong. He hit the reef really well. Watch how deep Philippe gets here. Kind of almost fades and then times that first turn really, really well. The second one, this is where he really opens up. Already gets a chance now to pair something up with that big eight-point ride on his second wave. Nice carve to get started. Steep section standing up here. Smith goes to the layback jam. Doesn't quite get that unload on the tail, and as a result, goes down. Fortunately, just uh, got a little off balance. Jordy here. He leans into it. Nice wrapping carve to start things off here. And then he sort of was in between a layback snap and a floater, and he just sort of got... Jordy did, and unfortunately for Philippe, too, his board just skipped out, on, out from him on, on his second turn. So perhaps a couple of opportunities uh, gone astray here for our two competitors. Yeah, both missing the chance to put something solid on the board. It's really starting to look like the usual suspects up in that final five as we see Jordy Smith paddling for this one. Jordy Smith on a good looking wave up into this first section. Winds through a, a carve. And now looks to set up a big finish on the inside. Gets that layback jam done this time. Gets the completion. But I think uh, even Geordie would agree that he didn't quite tee off on that final section the way he would have liked. And we're seeing that already here. Good looking wave for Geordie. Just skips a little off the bottom. And that perhaps took a little bit of power out of that first turn. The second turn, a bit more dynamic. For me, these two guys have maybe their best shot ever at a world title with the Rip Curl WSL Finals unfolding at Trestles in September. It's an event that they both won, as we see Toledo. Unloading on that first turn, up into the pocket again. Bit more of a carving approach for that move. Bringing it through oh. the inside. And complete dynamite as he unloads the rail and releases the tail. And he gets a finish as well. So that was a much more aggressive approach from Toledo and expecting that he'll turn in his best number there. Without doubt, he's going to turn in a, a big number here. I, I think it might even go into the excellent range. Look, gets the fade straight off the start and jams out. Gets the fin release. Actually gets a bit of slide. And then the second turn, nice and spicy. Just hucks that third one. Complete direction change. Uh, throwing an absolute ton of water. And then uh, gets a clean finish. Love this water angle, Ronnie. Unbelievable, this first turn. He just finds that, that extra gear to shift it into in transition. And this thing was so explosive. Oh, just you could see that little mini section coming at him. And he just hucked everything into it. And just threw all his body weight, all the rail. I love this first fade, just to position him so well for this first turn. Actually turning under lip and then gets the jam. Just inches off the fins a little bit. Allows the tail to come back under his board. Sets his rail again. Then just drives through this second turn. Beautiful posture. And uh, then gets back into the compression there. Loads up for this third one. And just have a look at this. Knifes the section. Daggers it. Wow. And absolutely destroys that section. Have a look at how far his board changed direction. 
He resets and then finishes cleanly. We mentioned that, that thud to Felipe surfing, how it's gotten a little bit more powerful. There was two turns in particular on that ride that I, I think really had that, that big audible crunch to them. As we see him up again, winding his way through that first turn. Big drawn out car, bit of foam on the face. And it's no problem for Toledo, who's powering through to the inside, trying to get rid of a 6.67 here. Loads up again, and it's a clean finish. He likes the feel of it. Felipe in top form. Yeah, he has found something watching that replay again, Rich. Love that first oh, turn, the extension off the top. I was about to say the exact word, Ronnie. The extension was just unbelievable. And it's these little adjustments that he's making, which shows me that he's really in tune with uh, what's going on here. The waves just troughing out a li little bit, but they're almost they're almost adjustments that he's making subconsciously. Great start, and you can see, you know what, too, I believe that nine-pointer came under the priority of Geordie Smith, so... Here we go, Felipe just looking at this one. He knows now that to put any more pressure on, he needs to better that 8.33 sense of a really great surfer. And it's been uh, on display here. This man's been doing it all week long. Nine and a half minutes to go. Geordie taking this one. Geordie winding his way through his second manoeuvre here. He's after a huge score though. This wave not really cooperating the way he would have liked, but still doing some great surfing as he rolls through to the inside. I think it'll stack up uh, against his eight from earlier on. But it was still a well-constructed ride. But he's not looking for composed performances at this point. He's looking to throw everything at it. Uh, performances on his championship to a career so far and you know some big finals performances but Felipe Toledo, Italo Ferreira and Gabriel Medina, John John Florence even have changed the way that, that surfers need to approach heats and you can't pace yourself through a, a final anymore. He's going to have to risk something on these rides if he wants to keep pace with this guy. Toledo up again. Unbelievable first turn. The wave flattens out for a moment, but he'll get an opportunity to throw down something big on the end section here. Whips into another solid manoeuvre. Let's have a look here from the water angle. You see Philippe just leans into it and just stays on that heel side rail for an extended period. Snaps right back up into the power source, almost under the lip and then gets the uh, the second wrap here and then gets to the finish as well. Bang, just jams on the brakes one more time. It's almost like a brake and acceleration situation there. A bit more of that spring in his step in this final, doesn't he? He does indeed. There's just a little more emphasis on each one of the turns, a little bit more of a dynamic element to it. And, and it's a as a spectator, there's an emotional response just watching what he's doing and what, just watching what a surfer does. and Just racing out of those turns with so much momentum. But Jordy, if he lays one over and gets a bit of clean face to work with, it could work in his favour. He's going to go for the pit instead. Knifes his way into this one, goes to that rail turn, grabbing hold of the rail for extra, extra control as he now brings it through to the inside. How high will the judges go with this one? Big layback finish. Gets swamped by the white water and won't, won't ride out. But Smith just giving them something different to think about. Well, the variety is what Philippe's brought so far in this fight. Jordy did so well to get behind the, the section on that thing. He would have got some amazing vision. Gets the grab rail carved nice and low to help him keep that uh, heel side rail in. You can see he just gets to the finish here, but unfortunately that little, uh, little whitewash coat hanger just engulfing him. Have a look at that. It was basically a stand-up tube. When he's hopping from one turn to the next, sometimes his board is almost on the bottom turn, jumping out of the water. That's how eager he is to get to the lip. And uh, we've seen a bit of that in this final already. Geordie Smith taking a medium-sized wave, has to go hard and attack the section. But he just gets slapped down by that lip. And there's less than a minute to go here, and Toledo's got priority. There's a good chance he's going to take this final. And they'll take both the men's and the women's events here at the Boost Mobile Margaret River Pro, presented by Corona. Felipe Toledo, your champion for 2021. And he is hugging it out there with Geordie Smith. What a performance. I mean, Geordie got the excellent score early on, Rich, but Toledo just came charging back. Well, he knew he had to bring uh, just a little extra 
if he wanted to take out the final. He did. He made that point of difference. And uh, it was just a masterclass here from Felipe Toledo. There's the celebrations. He hasn't had that winning feeling in a little while, and that would feel good.